Okay, now, maybe the hardest part of the job is learning how to make espresso drinks. Um, is it okay if she... Um, and actually, they're, they're very easy to make after you learn how to do it, but it just takes time to, to learn how to do them. Um, most of the drinks that you're going to make over here, which you've either tried before or heard of, lattes, cappuccinos, mochas, chai tea, hot chocolate, um, different drinks like that, a cafe au lait. Uh, most of those drinks involve espresso, which is a, a form of coffee or the coffee bean that you're using and milk. And then in a case like a mocha, um, you add chocolate to it. Um, or sometimes people will order like, a, for example, say a latte with vanilla. So, yeah. So um, thinking about one of our most popular drinks would be a latte. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, once again, you, you start with either a 12 or a 16 ounce glass. And what I'll do is, let's say, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Thank you, we'll throw that one away. <laughs> Fell on the floor dirty. Did you want me to make another Yeah, I think you can, yeah. Um, but let's, we'll start with a 12 ounce latte. So what you do is um, put the, the glass under here, yeah, the cup under here, and in a 12 ounce, we use one shot of espresso. And as you can see up here, we have espresso comes in one shot, or two shots. And then we also have decaf espresso for someone who wants to caffeinate it, um, doesn't really want the coffee buzz. Yep. And that also comes in one shot or two shots. So in this case, for the latte, we'll do a one shot. So, and you can come over here and press this if you'd like. It kind of helps you learn a little faster. Um, but if you want to go ahead and press that one shot. Sure. And, yep. And you can feel, too, the machine. Yep, yep, it's fine. And if you, you can feel it. Yeah, it'll shake, kind of wait and wait. It's showing here it's going to do a single. And you can watch it. Yeah. Even though it comes out of two different little spigot things, it still is one shot. It's measuring out one shot. Um, and that shouldn't be happening if we just pressed it twice. <laughs> um, so, um, the next thing is we'll go grab the milk in the refrigerator. And what we do for a latte, a 12 ounce latte, We'll pour about that much milk, about close to 12 ounces of milk. Yeah. And if you want to go ahead and do that, sure, it's right there. Perfect. <laughs> Then what we're going to do now is steam the milk and froth the milk a little. 
the art of steaming and frothing takes takes some time um, to do. And what we'll do here is we'll stick it under the frothing tube and yes, exactly. And we will press the auto frother. And that will heat up in just um, enough time. It'll bring it up to a certain temperature that is perfect for making a latte. And it does that automatically. It's set on a timer to do that. So as you can see, the milk is starting to, yeah, exactly. Yep. So when that's done, I'll press a little bit more this manual button for the top, um, just to add a little extra foam on top. Yep. And basically what happens is on the, when we press the auto button and it warms the milk up, it, it, you, you can see the difference from when you pour it. Do you see the foam on top? Yep, that's called froth. And what's underneath that is the steamed milk. Yeah, so when you're, you can see it now, when you pour it in the cup, you hold back the frothed milk, like this. And you pour, see the difference in the milk? Yeah. Kind of like skimming the cream off of the top of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you hold back that froth. until you get about half an inch from the top. Yep, and then you can spoon out the froth. That's where you get that nice uh, frothy, foamy look on top, yeah. Kind of gives people that mustache when they drink it, a <laughs> milk mustache. <laughs> yeah, and then Sometimes what I'll do is just give this a little stir. That's done. And you can put the top on the cup. And the sleeve on, same as you do with the coffee. Before you walk away, it's important underneath here is a rag that is soaking in bleach water. Yeah, and then it's important to wash off. Right. Yep. And then you're done with that. The milk goes back in the fridge and then you go on to give the customer the drink. Yeah.